Why is the US presidential car, commonly nicknamed the Beast, so expensive? The Beast is a unique Cadillac made by General Motors and it's upgraded every decade or so. The 47th US President Donald Trump will be driven around in a model that debuted in late 2018 when he was the 45th. And this model is expected to continue as the main presidential limo until the end of his second term. On book, it was expected to cost the American taxpayer between $1 million and $1.5 million for one. However, it has been reported that G GM amassed some $15,800,765, equivalent to $20,059,873 in 2023 in the development of this current behemoth. In comparison, the average price of a new Ford F-150, the best-selling car in the U.S., is $37,000. This makes the beast over 542 times more expensive than the F-150. From its sheer size to its high-tech defensive features, Features. Watch on to find out exactly why the Beast is so expensive. The exterior. The Beast is an exceptional vehicle due to its high level of customization and the extreme costs involved in crafting its exterior. Built on a GMC frame, it is far from a standard luxury car in terms of design, durability, and sheer scale of engineering. Every aspect of its exterior reflects meticulous attention to detail, engineered for resilience under a range of circumstances which contribute significantly to its expense. The limousine's weight alone alone is astounding. It's reported to weigh between 15,000 and 20,000 pounds, largely due to the materials used in the body. The car's outer shell is 8-inch military-grade armor plating and is composed of a mix of high-strength steel, aluminum, titanium, and ceramic, materials chosen for their durability and impact resistance. This intricate combination is designed to withstand extreme physical stress, but it also requires a costly, complex manufacturing process. Producing a frame that integrates these metals seamlessly is no small feat and significantly increases the vehicle's cost, as does the work to ensure all doors and structural elements align precisely despite the heft and thickness of the materials. The exterior also features specialized paint layers which go beyond aesthetics. Presidential limousines are treated with a multi-layer paint process that combines several coats of clear and color finishes designed to offer not only an impressive gloss, but also UV and corrosion resistance, preserving the exterior in a variety of harsh conditions. Furthermore, the car has an array of invisible coatings and treatments that protect the exterior from chemical damage. These are designed to prevent erosion and protect against environmental agents that might otherwise harm the integrity of the metals over time. Another feature that adds to the cost is the glass used in the windows, which is a complex material structure of multiple layers of glass and polycarbonate. The glass is about five inches thick, about the size of two tennis balls side by side, and is made from bullet-resistant laminated materials. These windows can stop a 44 Magnum bullet. Though these windows are designed to be highly transparent, allowing the president a clear view of the outside world, they are fixed in place and cannot be rolled down to maintain security and structural integrity. In fact, here is Trump talking about them. Oh, this is amazing, actually. I could say, I feel the window. Check's knock on that. Look at that, I just hurt my... <laughs> Additionally, the windows are designed to be shatterproof and can withstand a substantial amount of force, which adds to both the weight and the price tag. One detail that isn't widely publicized is the level of customization involved in the exterior design itself. Each presidential limo is tailored to specific aesthetic and functional requirements dictated by the Secret Service, and the vehicle's styling undergoes several iterations to balance appearance with advanced engineering. The badge, grille, and other Cadillac-style trims are meticulously selected and built for these vehicles alone, further raising manufacturing costs. Beyond durability and aesthetics, the doors on the Beast are among the most unique features. They are said to be as heavy as those on a Boeing 757. I mean, look at the sheer size of that door. They use specialized hinges and seals to hold their weight and maintain a secure seal. They also require unique high-tolerance manufacturing
manufacturing processes as the precise alignment must allow for a perfect weather tight fit. Interestingly, these doors do not have any keyholes whatsoever. Only the Secret Service knows how to open them. The US presidential limousine is also equipped with reinforced armored floor plates designed to withstand potential bomb blasts. These plates are made from a combination of high strength steel and other reinforced materials, layered to absorb and disperse the energy from explosions. This protective armor, which is typically several inches thick, is engineered to withstand blasts from beneath the vehicle, such as those from landmines or improvised explosive devices. The design prevents deformation and minimizes shock impact inside the cabin, enhancing the safety of the president and passengers in various high-risk scenarios. In addition to its design complexity, the exterior also undergoes rigorous testing, further contributing to its cost. Prototype versions of the limousine go through months of environmental and endurance testing to confirm that the paint and materials can handle exposure to extreme weather, moisture, and even potential chemical threats. Every modification requires its own set of tests, and the durability assessments add to the final price tag. High-tech defensive features. One notable aspect of the beast is its communication capabilities, which are critical for the president to maintain contact with the military and government officials while on the move. The limousine is equipped with advanced satellite communication systems, ensuring a secure line of communication even in areas where cellular networks may be unreliable or compromised. This level of security requires sophisticated encryption technologies that are costly to implement and maintain. In addition to communication systems, the Beast features a state-of-the-art surveillance suite. This includes cameras and sensors that provide a 360-degree view around the vehicle. These technologies enable the driver and Secret Service personnel to monitor potential threats in real time. The integration of these high-tech surveillance systems involves advanced processing units and software that are not only expensive to develop but also require ongoing support and updates. Remember those gargantuan doors? Unlike normal cars, when they close, they form a seal so strong that the occupants are protected from chemical attacks. Also never think of walking up to the beast intending to open the doors. The door handles are electrified and you will be electrocuted by a 120 volt electric shock should you be this naive. The beast also is equipped with shred and puncture resistant tires. GM uses a set of bus size Kevlar reinforced Goodyear reinforced with run flat technology allowing them to maintain functionality even after sustaining significant damage. This is crucial in a potential emergency situation where the ability to escape from a threat is vital. Moreover, the tires are designed to withstand extreme conditions including high speed pursuits and severe weather. Another factor influencing the cost is the customization involved. Each tire must be tailored to fit the specific requirements requirements of the beast, which includes considerations for weight, size, and load-bearing capacity. This bespoke manufacturing process is much more expensive than standard tires produced in bulk. Then we have the car's fuel tank. It features thick armor plating. Add to that another line of defense. If the fuel tank were ever hit, it would fill up with foam, preventing the tank from exploding. This special foam prevents the fuel from causing an explosion, even after a direct hit. Additionally, the beast is likely outfitted with cutting-edge biometric systems. These systems ensure that only authorized personnel can access the vehicle, employing facial recognition and fingerprint scanning technologies. Such security measures are crucial for protecting the president and are typically associated with high development and implementation costs. Another remarkable feature is the vehicle's ability to sustain the safety of its occupants in various emergency situations. This includes an onboard medical suite that is equipped with supplies for emergency medical treatment. It has been reported that the vehicle contains blood supplies that match the president's type, as we will see later. This level of preparation necessitates careful planning and specialized equipment, further adding to the vehicle's cost. Finally, the vehicle's maintenance and operational logistics are non-trivial. The limousine is serviced by a specialized team that is trained to handle its unique systems and features. The costs associated with this specialized training and maintenance combined with the vehicle's bespoke nature contribute to the overall expense of the beast. Weaponry 
One of the standout features of the beast is its heavy-duty armor plating and bulletproof glass. But beyond these defensive elements, it is equipped with advanced weaponry designed to respond to various threats. For instance, the car is fitted with pump-action shotguns, which can be deployed in the event of an attack. These firearms are housed within the vehicle's interior and can be accessed by the president or the driver in case of an emergency. This kind of direct firepower is rare in a civilian vehicle and shows the unique requirements for presidential transport. Moreover, the beast is designed to deploy tear gas or other chemical agents, providing a means of crowd control or to incapacitate potential threats during an ambush. These systems are discreetly integrated, ensuring that they remain hidden from view until needed. This capability is particularly valuable in situations where non-lethal means of dispersal are necessary to protect the president without escalating violence. In addition to traditional firearms, the limousine is rumored to be capable of utilizing smoke screens to obscure its movements and evade pursuers. This feature would allow the beast to escape from dangerous situations by creating a dense cloud of smoke, disorienting would-be attackers and providing a tactical advantage in flight. It can also reportedly lay down an oil slick to send enemy vehicles spinning out of control. The vehicle also contains explosives, although details are scarce due to national security concerns. There are reports of rocket-powered grenade launchers integrated into the beast. However, the presidential car's specific offensive weaponry is secret in order to stop enemy forces from devising attacks. The US presidential limousine is also equipped with advanced night vision technology that enhances visibility in low-light conditions, enabling the driver to see obstacles, hazards, and potential threats even in complete darkness. This night vision system integrates infrared sensors to detect heat signatures and project a clear, real-time image of the road and surroundings on the vehicle's internal screens. Up front is the driver and the President's lead Secret Service protective agent. The driver is chosen from a pool of highly skilled agents within the U.S. Secret Service, and they must undergo a comprehensive training program that covers various aspects of security, driving, and crisis management. Candidates must complete a specialized driving course that focuses on high-performance driving techniques. This training includes defensive driving skills, evasive maneuvers, and the ability to handle vehicles under extreme conditions. In addition to driving skills, presidential drivers receive training in threat assessment and situational awareness, first aid and emergency response protocols and communication protocols to maintain contact with the Secret Service's command center and other members of the security detail. In addition, the production of the beast utilizes materials sourced from various defense contractors. Many components are custom-made, contributing significantly to the vehicle's overall cost. Each limousine is hand-built in a highly classified facility and is designed to be the safest mode of transportation for the president, incorporating military-grade technology that goes well beyond conventional automotive engineering. The interior while the vehicle's exterior of the Beast presidential limo is built for safety and durability, the interior is equally impressive, designed to ensure the utmost comfort and practicality for the President of the United States. The President's seat is reserved on the back right. From his seat, he has access to an encrypted satellite phone with a direct line to the Vice President and the Pentagon, the United States Department of Defense headquarters. The limo's communication system is encrypted to prevent interception and with the satellite phone, he never has to deal with signal issues like the rest of us. The interior of the beast is soundproofed, allowing for private conversations. The president's seat also has a panic button for emergencies. This is used to call for backup response. Rear seats are adjustable and equipped with massage functions for additional comfort. The windows are treated to be anti-glare, helping visibility in direct sunlight or at night. One of the most noteworthy features of the beast's interior is its extensive use of high-grade materials. The seats are made of premium leather, specifically selected for durability and ease of cleaning, given the potential for spills and wear from daily use. This leather is not only soft and luxurious, but also treated to withstand extreme temperatures, ensuring comfort regardless of weather conditions. The seats are also fire retardant. The car's carpeting is another element that speaks to its luxurious nature. It is crafted from heavy-duty fabric designed 
designed to resist stains and wear, maintaining a pristine appearance over time. Another often overlooked aspect of the interior design is the window technology. While the windows are heavily armored for security, they are also equipped with a special coating that reduces glare and enhances visibility. This is particularly important for a vehicle that operates in varied lighting conditions and environments, from bright daylight to the dim interiors of urban areas. Additionally, did you know that there is a window that can be rolled down? Yep, we've already said that no windows on the beast can be rolled down for security reasons, but that is except one, the driver's one. This window can be rolled down, but only up to three inches. Seating arrangements in the beast are also meticulously crafted to enhance security and comfort. The presidential compartment is spacious enough to accommodate up to five people, allowing for private discussions. Additionally, the vehicle includes a partition between the driver and the rear seating area, providing an extra layer of privacy for the president and any accompanying guests. There is a glass partition between his compartment and the driver's compartment, and only the president has the switch to lower this glass partition. Behind the president's seat, you will also find a fridge full of blood matching the president's blood type in case of an emergency. Should the ambulance in the president's motorcade get cut off and he needs blood transfusion, the beast also travels with its own oxygen supply, which can be piped directly into the hermetically sealed cabin in the event of an attack. Because of its extensive armor plating, almost no sound can enter the cabin, and as such, the beast has microphones on the exterior that pick external sound and relays it to speakers on the inside of the car. There's only two created. Another reason why the Beast is so expensive is the fact that there are only two produced at a certain time. Unlike mass production of cars that helps drive down their cost due to economies of scale, the Beast sees only the production of two cars. These two cars, which are alike, are then sold to the government of the United States. Another factor that pushes the cost of the car up is the research and developmental costs. Since the car is developed from the ground up, the US government has to pay General Motors the costs of developing and incorporating both their suggestions into the car. Some of these suggestions are more expensive than others, and that is why you see the cost of the latest beast up from $1.5 million to $20 million, a 13-fold increase in cost. Much of the cost stems from ensuring that every element down to the stitching aligns with the rigorous Secret Service standards. For the designers, this meant balancing protection and functionality without compromising comfort or mobility, a task that involved thousands of hours of R&D and significant customization. Running Costs the running costs of the U.S. presidential limousine are exceptionally high due to the unique and stringent requirements necessary to support its operations, maintenance, and specialized functionality. One major cost factor is the cost of specialized fuel and maintenance. The presidential limo requires a specific type of fuel, and its heavy armor and weight drastically reduce fuel efficiency, often bringing it down to less than four miles per gallon. This low mileage combined with frequent use leads to frequent refueling. Furthermore, because it and its duplicate travel to various locations around the world, fuel logistics become more complicated and expensive as the limo's specific fuel requirements must be met even in remote or hostile environments. The maintenance of the beast is equally complex and costly. Regular upkeep requires skilled technicians with security clearances as the limo systems are classified and cannot be serviced by regular automotive professionals. These technicians must ensure the vehicle is in prime condition at all times, which involves regular inspection and replacement of parts due to the vehicle's wear and tear. For example, the weight and reinforced structure put immense strain on the suspension, tires and braking system, necessitating constant repair and replacement of these components. The tires, specifically designed to withstand intense conditions, are costly to produce and replace, and only a few facilities in the world have the capability to manufacture them. Another notable component that drives the cost up is the extensive training required for the specialized Secret Service personnel who drive and maintain the limousine. Unlike standard vehicles, the Beast is equipped with unique systems that demand skilled operators trained not only in tactical driving but also in emergency maneuvers specific to the vehicle. These drivers undergo rigorous courses to learn how to handle the limousine's weight, defensive mechanisms, and other unique capabilities. 
countries. Additionally, these specialized drivers must be continuously recertified and updated on new security protocols and vehicle modifications, making this an ongoing expense for the Secret Service. Logistics present another significant expense. When the President travels abroad or even within the United States, the limo must often be flown to the destination in a military transport aircraft, such as a C-17 Globemaster. Transporting such a large and heavy vehicle internationally is not only logistically complex but also costly, involving expenses for fuel, security and specialized loading equipment. The Secret Service often arranges for multiple limousines to be on standby at different locations, adding to the transportation and storage costs. Click here to see which one wins between Trump's new beast and Putin's limo. See you there.